level shots. Hooks. Just checking out new footage <clears throat> on Malik Scott's page showing Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder working the body with savage hooks. And let me counterpunch, okay? Um, Deontay Wilder is working people. I have never seen him throw body punches, okay? And then the punches that I've seen him do or attempt to do with body punches with JD's they look nothing like this. This is a definite improvement on how you deliver left hooks to the body, rights to the body. He's working that bag. This guy, he's, look, he's training like he's possessed. He has that spirit of, look, you're going to, look, kill or cure, kill or cure, you know? And <clears throat> I like it. And, and it may, this makes it so much intriguing for this fight. Because Tyson Fury trains every day, you know, so, you know, he says for his mental illness. So, you know, we're pretty much sure he's going to be in the shape he's going to be in. Right. But Deontay Wilder, this is an upgrade to his strength and conditioning, to his workout regimen, to his game plan. This is like upgrades on top of upgrades. This guy is working the body looking like Thomas Hearn. You remember Thomas Hearn was in there? With with uh, Marvin and Marvin Hagley, they, they were just scrapping and going blow for blow. You know, that's what he was looking like because he's tall, he's long, he's rangy. And, and Thomas Hearn, the Motor City Cobra, was an absolute beast. But why? Because he was versatile and he is showing that he not only can bang, thump, punch, he can also box and use his mind, fight in angles. Okay? And if Wilder was anything like that, he would be one unstoppable being, being that long, being that thin, being that powerful at the same time. Now he's ripping punches to the body. Now, let me counter punch. This is a lot better than I ever seen him because I've never seen him work out like this. And I'm impressed, heavenly impressed. <clears throat> I love it. Um, I would critique one thing. When he's working the body, He's working the body. He's working the body. He's working it. He got to bring that back up. Bow, 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 right? He has to bring that up. That's one thing I've seen. He's welling on it. Now, he does have that right guard up when he goes to the left. <clears throat> those are good habits. You know, that, those are very good habits, you know, because he has this guard up ripping to the body. He does that, you know, but if he's throwing that left hook, he's not bringing that left hook up quick enough. That would be my only critiquing on this. Because it, you can tell that he's been working on his punch placement, working to the body, trying to chop down Tyson Fury because maybe they're anticipating Tyson Fury to move a little bit more, to move, to stick and move a little bit more, you know, but he's definitely uh, training to fight in the trenches. That's what I see. And it looks spectacular because you imagine Wilder going to the body, you know, <clears throat> and working the body on Tyson Fury, scoring points, you know, and in these punches, they look like there's some, and look, and here's the thing, we know his right hand is the money punch, but I look and I'm seeing more snap in the left hook to the body. So it is, this might be one of those David Tua like situations where David Tua was known for his left hook or that left uppercut, right? Now that lunging, the uh, like that rising hammer left hook he used to throw, and knock people out. Then he got with Dan Goosen. And Dan Goosen was like, yo, you're a powerful dude. You can throw with the right. And he started knocking people out with his right hand. This might be what it is. That left hook to the body looks like it's sticking. Okay? And he's working. And if you can pop that in that liver down, you can you can put down anybody. And in see, in, in closing, people, this lets you know that the type of things that Deontay Wilder didn't uh, uh, capitalize on shows because we're seeing it now. The things that he could have done back then, he's doing them now. So it was so many things that he could have done because Wilder didn't have an inside arsenal. He didn't. 
He tried to throw uppercuts in there, but it was almost like a punch that he doesn't hardly, hardly throw with someone forcing you back and smothering you like Tyson Fury was doing. And oh, he was doing that well. But <clears throat> it was like Wilder didn't have a game plan. He didn't have those weapons or practice those weapons enough for him to be effective. That's, that's what happens when you don't train. But he's training now like the Dickens. And I love it. And I love the body punching. And this is just a body punching segment right here. This is what this is. This is work. Okay. This is work. Body punching. Left hook. Left hook. Right hook. Right hook. Left hook. And he's well into the body. He's going up. You know, he's angling those punches in different, look, look, in, in, in different directions. It ain't just that one place. He's coming up here. Pow, pow. He's going back down. Look, I'm excited about it because. This shows when a man really puts his mind and dedication and focus on something, he could be one dangerous man. Win, lose, or draw, I want to see this fight for Deontay Wilder. And then here's the thing. If he does lose, it's how he lost. If they go toe for toe, blow for blow, and this is the best fight they ever had, right? Shit, who wouldn't want to see another one? Matter of fact, a lot of times when you lose... You look at things like, okay, well, hey, especially when you lose heroically, you 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 uh, lose going out on your shield. You gave it your all. People won't won't doubt you just because you lost. If anything, you're an exciting fighter. You're either going to knock someone out or you're going to get knocked out. You know what I mean? So your reputation changes for the better because you're not this spoiled person or this untested person or this person that, that that's known to duck people or to skip out on mandatories and all that stuff and worried about it. Oh, and all that. You're a person that's one hard hitting, hard thumping, courageous, put it all on the line, mother sucker. Right. And this is what I'm seeing. This training from Deontay Wilder is very impressive. You know, yes. Does he need more work? Yes. You know, on the defense end, because if you're in there and you're tall and, and rangy, but he's in there with another guy that's tall. I think Tyson's faster than him on the inside. So I think Wilder has to work on that defense too. bow, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? So he can be ready to uh, <clears throat> uh, protect and, and, and attack, you know, so especially in the trenches, because he doesn't want to get caught with an inside sharper, faster punch from Tyson Fury. But he is preparing himself to work on the inside. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder ripping shots to the body in the body bag, body assault time. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.